Hey, this is Politics with Laura, and I, man, I got a mega one for you today. All right. Former Soviet Union, Mikhail Gorbachev died um, a couple of days ago, or shall I say last week. And um, he was the last Soviet Union president. After when he left off, this, this is, the, let me give you a little backdrop. After when the Soviet Union was crumbling and corruption was flying out all over the place. It was said that um, Vladimir Putin came into play. He has his own level of corruption that he dealt with in St. Petersburg. But when he came into office, well, before he came into office, he did a lot of things to help Mikhail Gorbachev and his family to keep them from going through a lot of turmoil, which he was able to squash or quash. Then Mikhail Gorbachev, Mikhail Gorbachev, then um, Vladimir Putin became president through elections. Having said that, let me continue on. Now, this is the interesting part. Putin will not attend Gorbachev's funeral. Now this is huge. This is really huge because keep in mind that Putin knows where, where all the corruption is buried. And by the way, Mikhail Gorbachev has this like mark on his head that looks like the country Italy. Don't get mad at me, just look at it. And then, okay, I'll leave that alone. Side note. Okay, the Russian president, uh, Vladimir Putin, will not attend the funeral of Mikhail Gorbachev, the, so uh, the Soviet Union's last leader in the Kremlin, was confirmed. Spokesman Dmitry Peskov said Mr. Putin's work schedule would not permit him to attend the event on Saturday. You're the president, but I'm going to leave it as that. He said that the Russian leader had paid respects at the Moscow hospital where the Gorbachev, di uh, Gorbachev died on Tuesday at the age of 91. Gorbachev reformed, reforms helped end the Cold War and saw the demise of the Soviet Union, which Putin has lamented. Warning, some readers may find, okay, there's no video. Uh, the 2005 Russian president said the breakup of the USSR was the greatest geopolitical cat catastrophe of the 20th century. That's very interesting. However, the telegram of, in his telegram of condolences of the Gorbachev's family, on Wednesday, Mr. Putin struck more um conciliatory note describing him as a politician and a statesman who had a huge impact on on the course of the world history of thursday russian state televised uh television showed mr putin placing a red red roses beside gorbachev's coffin in moscow central clinic hospital interesting Unfortunately, the president's work schedule will not allow him to do this on uh, September 3rd, so he has decided to do it today, Mr. Pe Peskov told reporters. Gorbachev's family, which will be open to the public, will take place in Moscow's Hall of Columns. Afterwards, he will be buried in a city, Novodavinsky Cemetery, which to his a wife, uh, Raisa, who died in 1999. Interesting. The, Mr. Peskov and 
Gorbachev's ceremony would have elements of the state funeral and that the state was helping to organize it. Mr. Putin will not uh, be the only notable absentee from the federal or from the funeral. Many of the foreign leaders who might have been expected to attend a are certainly barred from R Russian soil. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Okay, this is wild. In retaliation of Western sanctions imposed because of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Come on. You're going to be that petty? Two politicians from the U.S., U.K., and E.U., Japan, Canada are among those that exclude the list including U.S. President Joe Biden and U.K. Prime Minister Boris Johnson, as well as two candidates vying to succeed him, Liz Truss and Rashi Sunak. But there's something that I really want to point out. I didn't want to read the whole thing, but... Okay, the Kremlin would say... No. Okay, here. What is more important? What is more? President Putin has been busy dismantling Mikhail Gorbachev's legacy. That this makes no sense. The only way it can make sense is this: is if um if he is dismantling things that a former President Gorbachev of the Soviet Union had in place the only thing that i can think of is if the shamanism the voodoo that was going on in russia i don't know how true it is that's what they reported that's the only thing that i can think of because um vladimir putin is extremely religious and i'll leave it as that okay putin has been busy dismantling mikhail gorbachev's legacy gorbachev opened up the open the country granted freedoms to his people and sought peace and friendship with western nations which goes against the warsaw pact this was uh this this is not president putin's thing at all he has been taking freedom away suppressing the the mm, democratic institutions and embracing the idea of confrontation with the West. Yeah. It's something, it's really something. There's, like I said in my previous video, the changing of the guards. Now, I recently read that um, Russia and China are having war games to prepare for whatever's gonna go on. And I could only say or think this is gonna happen with the West. So if this is world um if this is um double V double V three hmm. tell me what you think. I'm trying to get the five hundred subscribers, please help me get there and then from five hundred to a thousand. And I thank you for your support, my subscribers. I thank you for hanging in there with me. And those of you who are coming, please like, subscribe. And I thank you for stopping by.